Here's an AMI This Week shortcut. Northwood is the largest not-for-profit continuing care organization in Atlanta, Canada. Mad Shea is a resident. She's also a participant in Northwood's Cycling Without Age program, a program that offers trishaw rides around the city. The trishaw is piloted today by volunteer Don Fleming of the Halifax Cycling Coalition, a partner with the program. The trishaw stands for tricycle rickshaw, a combination of the two words, trishaw. Three wheels, there's two in front for the, the, where the passengers ride. You could have two passengers uh, riding together seat with seat belts to keep them in and the main uh, wheel in the back which has a battery assist electric motor so uh, that's really a nice uh, feature to have heading away from a stop sign or if you're going up a hill someone else coming with me not yet no oh, okay i'm gonna have a solo ride okay <laughs> ruth ellen jackson is a volunteer coordinator at northwood Cycling Without Age is incredibly um, beneficial to our population. We have a, a very large uh, group of seniors here that use walkers or they have some uh, mobility issues. So it's a great opportunity to get people who have um, any type of issues that, that don't feel comfortable on their own in the bike and out to see the, uh, different neighborhoods, go to um, locations that they used to go to when, uh, you know, when they were more able or when they were younger. Yes. Okay, Mad, we're ready to go. All right. Cycling Without Age is a worldwide program that started in Denmark about a decade ago. This is the program's first chapter in Nova Scotia. The Northwood Foundation provided the funding. We have passengers all the time. We have a, a nice big list of people that have requested to get on the bike. So the passengers really love it quite a bit. We are going along these uh, side streets, which really are beautiful. A lot of the older homes have been preserved properly and uh, and when you come by here and you see all of the greenery, it's really been very nice. It's very leisurely. It's a, a chance for, for the residents to be able to get out. Um, and the saying goes to get some, some air in their hair. I would say that um, my favorite place right now is up the Hydrostone because I, I knew all of those places before I lost my sight. And now all I can see is just haze, but I can remember what it looked like. And that to me is important. Another reason is the opportunity to stop and indulge in some ice cream. I'd like to have the Mad Lynn, please. Okay, coming up. A, a, a double. <laughs> it's really a lot of fun. Uh, so it, it's a volunteer activity, so you know, you're giving, but you're also receiving. Uh, you, it's fun, you get fresh air, exercise, but most importantly, you get to meet some really beautiful, important people like, like Mad here. The Mad Lynn is a vanilla and chocolate. <laughs> Ruth Ellen and I join in for some ice cream and conversation. They definitely feel like they've had a good engagement um, with the outside community and then sometimes with each other and then with the pilot afterwards. It's very good. After the ice cream social, it's time for the ride back. It makes me feel uh, very good. And then you look at these trees, which are just beautiful. I love them. I really feel good going out in the bike. <laughs>